could just maybe take Andy film. Reed could play a good Santa Claus. <laughs> okay. That'd be interesting. Let's yeah. check in with Kenny Crumpton. <laughs> oh, wow. That sounds like a very interesting little scenario oh, for a movie. it's a Hallmark movie. You know, what could be better? A Hallmark Christmas movie, yes. I mean, what could be better? You know what's going to happen. Chuck, Chuck. Okay, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. And they live happily ever after. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't Just kiss like till the end. The they always wait right to kiss here. till the end. I don't. At the very end, because you know why? They live happily ever after. All right. Well, let's talk about the Corvair. It's having a nice little happily ever after with us here at the History Center, the Crawford Auto Museum, and the West Reserve Historical Society. All of that under one umbrella. Okay. Now, this is a four-door. Yes. And I wasn't familiar with the four. I remember the two-door Corvair. Yeah. It's a, this is a slightly later evolution. This mm -hmm. is sort of the second series of the Corvairs that started in 1965 and went to 1969. You'll notice that the body style is now a little bit sleeker. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have that sort of traditional Corvair fold mm -hmm. in the body seam. Engine's and still in the rear. Engine's right. still in the rear, yep. They yep. were all rear engine cars. This one's a little bit more contemporary. Instead of a bench seat in the front, we've got two bucket seats now. Okay. And uh, still has the uh, sort of pseudo wire wheel covers, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. a little bit sporty. And um, so, but this is a little bit more practical now. We've got a four door as opposed to a two door, sort of more family oriented. Now this one is super duper unique. They did yeah. not make many of these at all. Look at this thing. This is a really rare car. Um, this is the Corvair station wagon. And uh, it's unique because it was only made for a couple of years and it has a tremendous amount of storage in it because the engines in the back yeah that's what these uh, vents are that's for. what the vents are for the engines are in the back yeah. you've got a deck lid that goes over the engine so okay. you've got storage there the seats fold down you got storage there and yeah. because the engines in the back you've got a whole trunk your trunk is in the front front so we that's call, even more storage. it's called a frunk a frunk <laughs> Wow, because that's where the engine would be. You know, I, you have to remind yourself, even though they have a place where the engine would be, that's not where it is. That's correct. Now, this is super duper rare. It is. Um, was this a precursor for anything, do you think? Not really. It was okay. kind of a kind of a one-off thing. There was nothing that really followed it. Um, it wasn't really all that popular. Okay. For whatever reason, it just never really took off. So it was only made for a couple of years. And... Because it was a utilitarian vehicle and you know not so highly regarded back in the day, there's mm -hmm. not many of them left. And to wow. have one in this condition That's right now huge. is cool. All right, tomorrow, big Corvair cruising event. Yes, sir, from four o'clock to eight o'clock right here at the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum. Okay. Corvairs, 60s cars, other collector cars, whoever wants to come. We're gonna have lectures uh, about 60s culture, music, Corvair history, Love fashion. It. All kinds of good stuff. All kinds of good stuff. But yep. We're not wearing dresses this morning. I'll tell you that right now, John. Not <laughs> happening. <laughs> I don't care how bad we want to promote that. Not <laughs> happening. Okay, when we come back, two more really unique Corvairs and one that you've never seen before. I guarantee you they mm -hmm. have it right here. All right, Love back that. to you guys. Love the two-door and the four-door there, too. Very nice.